It is crucial for marketers and entrepreneurs create multiple touch points to communicate with their audience. And one of the most unsaturated ways how to do it are push notifications. Maybe you notice these little pop-ups on a website or maybe in a mobile app asking you for two options, whether to block or allow. And it means that you are blocking or allowing this website or mobile app to keep sending you push notifications. So what happens if you click allow? Well, this mobile app or website will keep sending you offers, discounts, products, services, and so on. And if you're a clever marketer, it means that you can leverage the power of these push notifications to market your products. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you about seven companies which allow you to use push notifications on scale. What's up everybody, my name is Jakub, I'm CMO of PitchGround and before I will show you the first push notification company, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell which appears there after you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other video we post. We post amazing content every single week. And if you're a marketer, entrepreneur or founder, don't forget to join our official PitchGround Facebook community. You can find the link down in the description. But now, without further ado, let me show you the first push notifications company. The first push notification company I want to talk about is OneSignal. And OneSignal is the market leader in the customer engagement, powering mobile push, email, and in-app messages. And as you can see, they have some really nice track record. And as usual, with all the other companies I'm going to show you, they focus mostly on re-engagement of the customers who already been on the website, which is basically the main uh, purpose of the push notifications. Not only the website, but of course, in-app push notifications as well. And they have pretty generous pricing. Uh, so they allow you to have 30,000 web subscribers and unlimited mobile subscribers for free, which is which is quite crazy. Uh, and subscriber means basically that after someone clicks allow, uh, that they will become subscribers. So you can go to onesignal.com and uh, discover a little bit more about this company. And I will also put all the links down in the description under this video. Push Engage, uh, company number two is a personalized browser push notifications. And again, as you can see, uh, they're showing their amazing clients, um, for example, Harvard Business Review. And they're again, pretty similar like every other push notification company, but these guys are pretty generous with their pricing as well. Not so much as a, as a first company, OneSignal, but uh, they offer quite different uh, things, different plans, they offer add-ons, uh, and you can play around with the slider here of how much subscribers do you have, and it will give you the monthly cost. The third example I want to show you is called Subscribers, and I actually really love the USB here. Get your website visitors to come back. <laughs> which is the purpose of the push notifications, right? So let's take a look at the pricing. Free up to 200 subscribers to Chrome, Firefox, uh, desktop and mobile supported, of course, and then some really basic pricing packages. So you can you can go, go through it. And if you need more subscribers, well, you can just uh, buy the enterprise plan. And uh, this is what I like since I'm from Europe, that it's a completely GDPR ready. And it's actually for the first time when I see this badge somewhere along these companies. All right, company number four, I want to talk about is push whoosh <laughs> it's actually pretty pretty funny name they uh, are more marketing oriented you can see that there are marketers behind it like really strategic approach to to marketing as you can see here engagement graph and acquisition first purchase repeat purchase loyal customer and their pricing is a little bit confusing they uh, they separated up to uh, up to devices which I think is similar like subscribers but I'm not 100% sure but I think push push is another good example example, you can, you can look into it if you want to start with uh, push notifications. Company number five I want to talk about is called Airship. And what I like about them is the branding. <laughs> well, it's not that super important, but I like that uh, they deliver meaningful messages at every stage of the customer life cycle. It means that uh, you can use Airship to acquire, retain and grow your audience. And they offer like multiple solutions. So here you can see for acquire, they uh, show you welcome series, onboarding, cross-channel acquisition, and so on, uh, and uh, with the retain loyalty and so on. And really nice companies use them. I, I, I believe that BBC is using Airship. 
yeah, BBC, Susan Airship, <laughs> NBC Universal, and so on. I think that they will be quite more expensive than the other examples I shown you. Yeah, they, they don't actually show the pricing here. So it means that uh, usually when I see something like this, uh, it means that they are maybe a little bit more premium or not available for mass public and maybe for more enterprise clients such as BBC and so on. So if you have a bigger company uh, and you need reliable push notification provider, I think Airship is a, is a way to go. All right, Lean Plum. It's a company number six. And again, used by awesome companies, Tinder. That's a nice app. <laughs> and they are actually the first push notification company who are showing some like real results on their landing page, which is pretty crazy. Like 17% increase in revenue, uh, considering that it's actually really simple to start using push notifications. It's a no brainer. Last but not least is Intercom. And Intercom is a quite old and uh, reliable company. And one of the SaaS tools they provide uh, next to, for example, this, this chat here <laughs> is a push notification tool. So you can, you can pick this like really reliable provider to run your push notification campaigns as well. And as I said, you can find the link uh, to all the tools down in the description. It's really better that I will just show you a glance of what these tools can do and what these tools actually are. And you can just go one by one by yourself and find the one you like the most. So the purpose of this video was to quickly explain you how push notifications work, but more importantly, to show you seven companies you can use to market your product, services, or maybe content. It really doesn't matter if you're a startup, if you're a small business owner, or if you're a blogger, affiliate marketer, push notifications are still really untapped and you should take advantage of them before it's too late. I showed you seven companies which allow you to do it. So please let me know down in the comments what do you think about the push notifications? Is it really the future or is it just another trend which will go away in maybe one or two years? And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell, which appears there after you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other video we post. And if you are a marketer, founder or entrepreneur, please join our official PitchGround Facebook community where you can network with like-minded people. I'd be more than happy to welcome you there. So see you next time.